The final two pages are upon us in this sketchbook. The time has come to finish strong. Circling back to the first page of the sketchbook, I titled it with a phrase, Adventure Awaits. So why don't we go on another adventure together with the sketchbook, paint from life right on location, and finish it up. Let's go! <laughs> Today we're at another nature-filled place next to a sea turtle sanctuary. There's so much beauty around. There's a little garden area along with a sea turtle rehabilitation center and some aquariums. Upon arrival, I was so happy to see this. Knowing that there are incredible humans saving animals out there makes my heart really warm. First things first is time to explore and just get to know the place. After some sea life, I ventured on some trails to find the perfect spot. I can't wait to indulge myself in my surroundings and capture this moment. There are different sections and I'm going to see the best place where we can set up and paint. Everywhere you turn, there was something super special about every single area. I love this little insect hotel and I had the option, maybe we'll go there or there. Okay, I think we'll go this way. Lately, I've just been so drawn to trees. Just look at all those details and just the way that it intertwines. Hmm, maybe I'll just set up right here. I love the way the light is hitting that path, but let's explore a little bit more before we decide on where we're gonna settle. Oh wow, look at this path. I always like to look at all the spots before I pick where I'm gonna sit and paint, but this is gonna be a hard decision. And I think I found this little secret spot and there's a little shade and some benches too. I came across this little hut and it was perfect to settle down in. I took a moment to look around and see what really drew my eye and I loved the way that path had all of the shadows and light hitting around it. It's very nice and peaceful here, so I think this is where I might plant myself for some painting soon. I began setting up at the little corner where I had front row seats to the path. I thought this was the perfect spot because it was out of everyone's way. I was in a nice shaded area, but also had beautiful view of the lighting and the path right in front of me. And that's gonna be our subject for today. I'm timing myself one hour for this. My main focus is going to be to get big, broad shapes. So I'm making sure that I capture the lighting with bigger shapes, not getting too caught up in all these like little details of the leaves. I'm going to do my best to do that. There are these random noises <laughs> in, the, in the palm trees and things and there's iguanas and all sorts of things. So I'm kind of like happy to be under this little hut. I feel very safe and cozy here. And that's really important when you're urban sketching to just feel comfortable and cozy in your little spot <laughs> and I've started this sketch and it's pretty peaceful and perfectly under the shade here so I don't think it'll get too hot so let's begin let's get to painting for the study I brought some watercolor and gouache with me since the Sun was hitting so beautifully on the leaves and the path itself I began with a bright yellow underpainting to really capture that lighting, and then I'll be able to do some shadows and layer on the watercolor on top. With each painting and study, I come in with an intention, sometimes with a plan and sometimes with no plan. I really wanted to play around with transparent layers on top of one another, Besides, that works really well with watercolor. And also, although I saw lots of green and lots of browns, I really wanted to change things up with my own color palette and lots of bright colors. Since this was a pretty complex subject, I really took my time and went slowly on building up those layers. And in order not to get too confused, I kept the initial stages in a warm color palette. How are 
are you? Good. You're painting. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're not Thank nervous you so if much. we breathe over your shoulder. Oh no, I'm used to it. Oh, I'm used to it. Oh. Thank you. favorite things about urban sketching and painting from life is every single thing that happens in the moment. Getting lost and indulged in your surroundings is what makes it so special. And as I was ready to take a break, I saw something from a distance and oh my gosh, what a beauty just basking in the sun. I really just wanted to paint everything around me. take a short break uh, to stretch a little bit and before we continue a quick word from today's sponsors Pila. Pila specializes in eco-friendly phone cases and more. I've talked about them before and absolutely love how soft their cases are. My phone comes with me everywhere I go and I'm currently even filming on it as I'm urban sketching. Having a case that's super durable, soft and functional at the same time is a huge plus for me and what's even better is that Pila is 1% for the planet they're B Corp certified, and their phone cases are compostable. You can send your phone cases anytime to Pila to be recycled for you, or you can recycle them in the convenience of your own home. And guess what? A nowhere surrounded by plants and so much nature, their phone cases are actually made from plants. They were so kind enough to give us a discount code, and that code is JESS. First 50 people will get 40% off, and once that goes away, you can still get 25% off, which is awesome. Seeing all the sea turtles today got me thinking on how much I love them, so I'm gonna have to order myself the sea turtle case for sure. Thanks Pila, you guys are awesome. Let's get back into painting and some finishing touches. I have definitely exceeded my one hour time period and it's it's been about two hours <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best to finish up it's looking really great and I'm really happy with it and it's been super peaceful I'm meeting tons of people everybody is super 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 nice and um, we're just exchanging smiles and it's been awesome so far so I'll just keep going and uh, whatever I'll have time for today will be what it is During the stages of the painting, I began adding in some gouache and having more opaque layers on top. I introduced and mixed a little bit of a cooler green and some warm greens in the area as well. And I like to add gouache towards the end to punch out some of those highlights and I find that this sort of brings things together. As I was painting, I was approached by a little girl. She spoke in Spanish and I do understand a little bit, so all I heard her say was, Mommy, I really want to paint too. So of course, I had to give her my sketchbook for her to make a masterpiece. And this may have been the most magical moment of the day. Ah, su manita. Tienes que abrir los dedos. Okay, okay, mommy's doing a good job. Seeing the smile on her face was incredible. We interacted and laughed together, and I was grateful to witness once again the carefree nature that kids bring us. Listo. Sophie! Así. Mi pulgar, me vas a dejar sin un dedo. Mira lo que estás haciendo. Tienes que ver lo que haces. Wow, I love it. <laughs> It was amazing meeting Sophie and her mom. 
She requested to make a pose and get a picture of her. Her mom told me she loves to draw, she's only two years old. But the fact that she stopped and noticed what I was doing, saw that I was painting and wanted to draw and paint immediately right after, it's a special feeling, it's really incredible and I was left speechless. Seeing Sophie's carefree marks inspired me to add color pencil on top of the drawing. Sometimes the loose, scratchy marks bring beautiful texture to our paintings, and I was so glad to add it on top. So beautiful. Thank you. Do you guys like to draw? I love it. And it's all watercolor and color pencil? Uh, watercolor and a little bit of gouache on top. Okay. My daughter loves paint. <laughs> Can I take your picture with my daughter? Anything? Of course, of course. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, cheese. Good, you're welcome. You're welcome. You guys having fun? Yes. Yes? Lots of fun, right? It's very, very peaceful here. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. As the day went on, I met and connected with more and more people, and those are the moments that I'll never forget. I truly believe with my whole being that we're all artists, and if there's any way to inspire to get out and paint and get creative, share my process and my work, and send out a positive message is something that I live by. As I was working on this painting, I realized there was a huge explosion of color. I think that's because I was so happy and excited to paint. I learned that the colors we use really reflect our mood in the moment. And what I love about painting from location is that you can really rely on that very moment. You zone out and you see things just the way they are. And however you wish to interpret it, whether it's by composition or color, is totally up to you. And that's the beauty of it. Here's the finished result. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing your feedback and reading each and every one. Definitely exceeded my time frame I had a goal on, but it was all worth it in the end. And I'm actually really glad I took my time with this. What an adventure. I'm going to pack up. Today was so much fun. I got to meet so many people. I had a chance to interact, connect, and share smiles. Also got a chance to paint in my sketchbook and just observe, take in the nature around me. And I'm just reminded once again how good I feel after I paint from life. It's truly a one-of-a-kind feeling. I had a chance to finish that spread and the last spread will be revealed in the sketchbook tour. So subscribe and hit that bell so you can be reminded and not miss out on the sketchbook tour. They close in about one minute. So before I end up camping out here, I better go pack up and head home. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm sending love and light wherever you are and I'll see you next time.